Yo, what's going on everybody? So I've been having a lot of people hit me up lately about a topic that I really want to cover. And you know, there's a huge elephant in the room right now in the industry and not too many people are talking about it. So uh, I have five main things that I really got to say about it and I hope you guys can relate to it as well. And the topic for today is actually coping with depression in the industry. And it's super huge right now. And a lot of artists suffer through it. I even suffer through it a lot at times. And yeah, I just really want to shed some light onto this topic. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get into it. I think for me or for anybody that I can really recommend, the best way to stay positive in any industry is um, like, of course, diet. Diet's most important. Like you want to stay healthy, you want to be healthy. Because um, when you are healthy, you like think healthy, you, you are happy all the time and you have a positive outlook. Uh, another thing too is like removing negative peers and that kind of plays into the staying positive kind of aspect of it. If you think your music isn't good or if you're really being discouraged, then like you will be discouraged. So the power of thought is really important. So like your mindset is everything. So as long as you stay positive, you think positive, and you surround yourself around positive people, then of course you're not going to be like as negative or as depressed anymore. So that's really big. But most importantly, diet. Because diet's everything. You have to take care of your temple. For sure. Sounds like some hippie shit, but definitely, I'm telling you guys, man. Like, I just went, I've been vegetarian for like a year now, and I feel great. And I think it's helped, like, everything with me being social. Uh, it's cured my depression, and like, I'm more positive. And that has a big role to play when it comes to me sitting down and making art. So, yeah, just try and be as positive as you can and surround yourself around people that make you laugh a lot. Asked is, uh, how do you pull yourself out from a uh, really bad depressional phase in your music career or in any career in general and that's a loaded question because i mean there's so much you can do but for me at least what helps me is like finding inspiration so finding inspiration and most importantly getting out and going outside of your house going to new environments go to shows go to venues go to like a jazz lounge whatever tickles your fancy so you can find some inspiration and like it doesn't always have to be music related either um i know that rl grime when he did his new album a few months back he would like look at a painting or uh there's like the stained glass that he would look at and he would think to himself what would that glass sound like if it was transformed into music so you can really be creative and really expressive and look at things and kind of think like huh i wonder what that would sound like if it had a voice and vice versa kind of thing so yeah but most importantly just get out and surround yourself around good people and just know that it's just a phase. I think, at least for me, like don't partake in the lifestyle, for sure. A lot of musicians, a lot of DJs, even go-go dancers, or artists in general, we like to indulge ourselves with substances and we like to live the lifestyle that we're kind of known, quote unquote, to live. But if you don't do any of that, if you don't partake in the partying, the party favors, like the lifestyle, it's going to help you a lot more, keep you straight mentally. So then that way you can continue working on your art and not really, you know, drain yourself emotionally and physically. So don't partake in the lifestyle at all, especially if you find yourself in a depressional phase and you're just really trying to get over the hump. Just so you know, you will get over it. It's just a matter of time and how you find what works best for you to get over it. So just know it's just a phase. It's not going to last forever. You guys will be good. The fourth thing I can kind of suggest is that when you're in a depressional phase in your career, whatever it may be, um, support your community. All right. So now it sounds a lot harder to do then it's like it's like easy said than done kind of thing especially if you're feeling down and you don't have much self-esteem and you're just feeling really depressed but the reason why i say this is that the more you help others the more you feel good about yourself i don't know if it's dna's i'm not really a biologist but i think whenever you help others you just feel good so either if it's on social media if you see your friend uh, if your friend just posted a track or like posted some really cool piece of artwork on Instagram, yo, like it, drop a comment. It's not that hard. And that's going to go a long ways for them. So when you help others, like you're going to feel good. And then eventually you'll pull yourself out of that depressional phase too. So support your community. You know, I support people all the time. If they ever show me tracks, you know, I like to repost them or just a simple like and comment can go a long ways. Um, Cause the more you, you do good the more you feel good and obviously the universe does great things for great people i know it's really tough and it's really easier said than done but 
honestly that helps me out a lot too like whenever i'm feeling down or even if i'm just having like writer's block you know you want to pull yourself up mentally like you want to get out of your head as much as you can and the best way to do that is maybe even like living your career through other people's eyes you know what i'm saying so like be proud of people be supportive and help out as much as you can uh, hey dude can i hey dude can i like smoke in this vape I mean, vape in this elevator, but like in smoke. Cha bra, like vape god, dude. Guy, yeah, you know, actually, I hope they'll see me on the video camera right there. Sketch! Alright, so point number three. Um, ignore the critics for sure ignore the critics uh, in the industry we have to do a lot of competing and we get compared to others and we even compare ourselves to others at times too and that is just very toxic i highly suggest don't doing that at all because the thing is, is that we're all really good in our own way like someone might be really good at sound design but the percussion patterns suck or vice versa so we're all good in our own way and there's no need to compare ourselves to others and also take constructive criticism with the grain of salt for sure like everybody has an opinion and we're all entitled to one too as long as we're not like being dicks about it but we're all entitled to an opinion and just remember that only that is just an opinion and it means nothing more and nothing less just be your own critic uh critique yourself and you know push yourself to the limit because that's what's going to make you a better artist in general or better at anything you do And the thing is too is I know a lot of people are starting to become successful right now and they're getting a lot of haters and even though their music is good people just hate on what they can't relate to or when there's like a lot of jealousy or envy involved so for advice for that honestly just use that hate and that spite and that envy and jealousy and use it for fuel and just smile and don't really respond don't get into all these comment battles on all your social medias like leave that shit alone ain't nobody gotta see that side of you so just make art make sure it comes from a special place when you make it and that's all that matters just have fun like i know this is serious and for a lot of you guys this is like your guys career but dude at the end of the day have fun have fun have fun and learn to do what you do the best way you can do it that's all that matters i'm telling you guys yo check out the stage though Hell yeah. Just make art. It doesn't matter what you're making, how you're making it, who you're making it with, but just make art. Make anything. Do sound design, doodle if you're a painter or a drawer, you know, like build up your folder for like your samples, whatever it is you got to do, just stay active. And remember why you guys started making art in the first place. Like this is our outlet. A lot of you are really creative and I really urge you guys to utilize that creativity. A lot of people don't have an outlet like what we do. We have the ability to take negative emotions, negative vibrations, throw them into an outlet and make something positive. One of my best tracks that I'm really favored of I wrote after like a huge breakup you know i took all my pain all my emotion and i put it in there so if you're feeling really depressed no matter what's going on in your life just do your best to take that and be creative and then make art out of it use it to like fuel your fire making art for a lot of us is our escape so embrace that like if you're feeling down embrace like how you're feeling we're all human it's okay to feel emotions it's totally okay so whoever tells you not to feel a certain way don't ever listen to them what you need to do is you need to embrace that feeling and then re-channel it and then make something super dope out of it it's okay to feel human i tell people that all the time when people hit me up and they're like yo man like i'm really depressed my career isn't where i want to be like and this isn't working out this and that and i'm like good like that's that's great dude that's actually really dope like embrace that feeling because eventually you're going to get tons of inspiration and that's going to drive you to get even further so those are my five subjects on um, how to kind of get over the depressional phase in your career uh, I, I know it's still a loaded question and there's tons to be talked about still so if you guys have any tips or tricks that you guys use please drop them down in the comments below I would love to hear what helps you guys and all also too i think we would all like to kind of you know just share what helps because it's super big in our community and a lot of artists are really depressed i go on twitter all the time and see like 
all these big name artists and you're just sad and lonely because nobody's talking about this. It's a huge issue. Now check this out. I want to talk about art, right? This is made out of jelly beans. Crazy, huh? That's all jelly beans. <laughs> now that's art. See, that's, that's inspiration. That's what I'm talking about. You guys need to get out, get out of your house, get out of your room, get out of your studio, and go out and find art. Find what inspires you. Hey man, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's so good to see you. All right, so this is Alex Lightspeed from, uh, from Portland, right? Yeah. Portland. yeah. So I actually just worked on uh, ma mixing mastering his track uh, with Deformity. Yep. Dude, it's a banger. I'm not sure when it's going to be released, but I highly suggest looking out for it for sure. So, yeah. I, it's just really good to actually meet you in person, you know? Yeah. So if you can give someone some advice, if they're really depressed in their career, not really satisfied with where they are, and they're just in a down like kind of mood, what would you suggest to kind of help them get out of that? First thing you want to do is 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 just connect yourself from your uh, perception of like how many followers do I have? How many how many uh, people have downloaded this track? How many people have watched this YouTube video? Like as a marker of where you personally are or how good of a musician or artist you are. The second step really is connecting with uh, with other people that do appreciate the art that you make. And whether they're remixing some of your stuff or you're working on some of their stuff or you're sharing samples or just like share energy in between uh, other artists that, that appreciate you and will grow from your influence, you know? And that'll help you a lot. And I just want to take a second to check out this fucking sick shirt. Look at that shit. Like last week, watching you mix and master our uh, our track, like I'm not to say that I felt like I knew everything there was to know about mixing and mastering, but I definitely felt very confident about where me and Todd were on mixing and mastering. But when you watch somebody else do their process and their uh, their workflow, that can change. Even if I don't necessarily agree about everything you did while you mixed and mastered master the track, watching your workflow change my thoughts about how I might do things in the future. And this is really genuine, by, by, by the way. Like, I, I've been wanting to tell you that I felt extremely more interested in music just since like since we did that last week you know like i'm gonna pursue working on more of my like synthwave stuff that i was like kind of putting on the back burner that's why i'm suggesting work with others meet others it can be across the country it, it, we have the technology to interact on a very personal level with other artists and i think that that can be more rewarding than a lot of fans that don't even know what's going on telling you that you're great right so so more or less drawing inspiration and working with others whenever you're kind of like down to see like just to get your creative process well, we going all, we again. We all bring each other up, right? Yeah, Alex Lightspeed, he's got a lot of good stuff to say. So uh, yeah, thank you. Definitely cut that out. I don't need everything. <laughs> <laughs> Another cool thing too is that my pops once told me that thoughts create emotions, emotions create actions, and actions create results. So. If you really want to start at like the core process is everything, it all starts mentally. It's all like thought patterns. So, and it's thought process too. So you really want to be aware of like what you're thinking and even who you're around that makes you think a certain way and it like puts you in a certain mood because that's absolutely critical. Whenever you start feeling like you're thinking a certain way that's getting you down, like you have to mentally train yourself, learn some hardcore discipline and switch yourself off immediately listen to music that makes you happy or you know just watch like funny cartoons like for me i love squidbillies and like if i'm if i'm ever feeling down dude i'll watch squidbillies and i'll get over that immediately and then get back to what i was doing making art making videos making vlogs doing sound design doing tutorials or even mentoring on skype so it all starts up here man everything starts up here so just make sure that you learn discipline and learn how to control what's going on up here and you guys will be absolutely fine man and i know again easier said than done takes years and years and years of practice but i have tons of faith in everybody who's watching this and if i can do it yo you guys can do it too so there's no reason there's no excuse unless there's like some crazy chemical imbalance 
that you're suffering with and it's really like a DNA and biological thing. Uh, but even at that point, yo, change your diet up. Like diet helps out a lot. Like even just eating green, cutting out meats, all that shit can really go a long way because if you're taking care of your temple, then your temple will take care of the village. So like, it all starts with you, man. You guys have the power to alter your habits, your lifestyle, and like what's affecting you and what's not. So uh, yeah, and plus life is way too short to get caught in the rut and be stuck in like a depressional phase for a long time. Like life is short, man. We're really not promised even right now. Like a plane can hit your house right now. I know it's super dramatic, probably won't happen, but like outlandish shit happens every fucking day. So just do your best. Surround yourself around the best people that are really good for you. You know, all that drama on social medias, cut that out immediately. You guys don't need any of that because all that is just toxic anyways. So yeah, I hope this uh, really helped you guys out. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next vlog. So stay tuned.